A city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. The build-up has been intense and now we just can't wait for it all to begin. It's anyone's guess though, which team will come out on top? Number 23. Stay tuned, all the action coming up next. A warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the Wrexham starting lineup. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're also set up with a back five, but I think key today will be the central midfield. Whichever side dominates that area will be able to get their wing backs further forward and get them in the play. Connor McLennan. And it's with Mariapa. Curtis Tilt, Luke Garbutt, Ryan Watson, and it's with Mariapa. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Palmer, Thomas O'Connor. Andy Cannon moving the ball nicely but can they forge ahead and options in the centre well it didn't happen for them in attack what good bit of closing down and a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge Curtis Tilt. Elliot Watt. Luke Garbutt. Curtis Tilt. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Garbutt and Salford City will get the throw in Garbutt Curtis Tilt Luke Garbutt well timed tackle That is that for the first half here. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Went in strongly to win the ball. James McLean. Thomas O'Connor. O'Connor. McLean in possession. Ollie Palmer. Palmer. 
must take the lead here. Garbutt. Curtis tilts. Watson. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Vassell. McLennan. Elliot Watt. Connor McElhaney. McElhaney. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Matty Lund. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Number 30, James Jones. Substitution for the visitors. Coming off the pitch, number 18, Connor McElhenney. Coming onto the pitch, number And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. Well, this has to get better because, as those stats confirm, the attack in play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. O'Connor. Now, let's see what they can do here. Thomas O'Connor. Firing it in, and a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil, there it is, they're in front. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider just 10 minutes remaining here Vassell Matty Lund we might very well have late excitement here five minutes to go and just one goal between them determined defending Before will they go chasing the game? This is looking threatening. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Mullen. Ollie Palmer. Barnett. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved.